What's up everyone, Electronic Search here, back with another video, and it is June 4th, two days after the testing, which I forgot about, so here we are. Um, quick note, I actually cleaned up my desk here, here it is. Um, I got rid of the taping, the blue tape, you can kind of see the stripes under it, which I'm still trying to get rid of. See, like, right here and here, just to let you know. I've been cleaning up all day long, sorting out wires. It's all nice and organized, except my mouse and keyboard wires and stuff like that. And, yeah, let's go ahead and start. All right, first we're going to start with the um, Fire X G6. This is the broken one, the one that had the broken horn in it. Um... We're going to test this one as well as test the interconnecting with the other FireX G6, which we're going to get to after this one. Here we go. Um, Let's test this one and the other one. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, this one's good. And it does interconnect. All right, here we have the working G6, the one with no broken horn. We're gonna test it as well as test the interconnecting. Here we go in three, two, one. All right, I did not hear the other one beep, but I think it's just because I'm wearing headphones and it has a broken horn. And right next to the working FireX G6, we have the Nest Protect Gen 1, which we're gonna test right now. Press to test. This is only a All test. All right, here we go. One. This is only a test. Testing smoke. <phone rings> Testing carbon monoxide. Finishing up. Just a moment. The test is finished. Alright, we're now downstairs. Let's test. Ready. This is only a test. This one. The alarm will... One. This is only a test. Testing smoke. All right, we're now gonna test the ones in the basement. So we have the first alert, unknown model, I don't remember it. The other first alert, which I actually found out doesn't have, isn't installed correctly. See, there's a, it's open right here. Now we did not install this here. Um, I think we installed this one here and the last owners had installed this because our house, when our house was built, we had Fire X G6 and Nighthawk carbon monoxide alarms in this building. So these first alerts right here, they're not with the house. They came here from the last owners. All the um, other alarms were Fire X G6 alarms. That's why there's two broken ones upstairs. And we do still have the carbon monoxide alarm and the I-9060. So... Let's test these two first alerts. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, let's test the other one. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, now I have to test this one, so I have to get it down real quick. All 
All right, let's go test the ones in the wall. All right, let's start with the carbon monoxide. And the I-9060. And that is it. We've tested all the alarms. And it's also been five months since we started the series. Kind of, kind of strange. I know it's been five months since we, um, where's my pointer? It's right here. Alrighty, all the alarms are working well. I don't see any issues. The nest protects are, according to the nest protects, everything's okay. Because the first alerts and the fire X's and the kitties don't really have sounds like the nest protect. Anyways, goodbye. Also, just realized. I forgot to test the first dollar carbon monoxide alarm. Here we go. Right. Okay, and I think we're we're now done. So thanks for watching. Bye.